Welcome back to the Jack. We have Gunslinger Suicidal Hotel Z. It is quarter. Ooh, ready up. We're just quarter after twelve today, and uh, I'm recording. What a novel idea, eh? What a novel idea to actually be doing your recording in the morning, or you know, before stream, anyway. What a novel idea. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Yeah, yeah, you guys just keep popping out of space there, you know? That's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, this is a fun map. We've never played it on uh, on camera before, but it is a it's a fun map. It's destructible for the most part actually. Or at least to a to a certain extent. We'll go and uh, we'll go and show that off upstairs. So many of these walls are actually destructible. Like boom. We can go down here now. And like over here, like, this is a destructible wall. You know, and it's pretty cool like that. There are actually a few places that you can't get to without breaking through the walls. Like this trader, for instance. And uh, the Zeds, of course, can also break through the walls. You have lots of escape routes as a result. You, know, you can hop out and kind of mess around and then do whatever you need to. Everything's kind of blown up everywhere. You know, it's nice and fun like that. I like it. I like it a lot. It's a good map. I don't. Uh, it's not. It's not like. It's not like a fun map. You know what I mean? It's a map that I can respect, but uh, not. Not a. It's not. Um. I don't know. It, it's a good map. I like it. You know. Obviously, I'm playing it and uh, going through the work of putting the thumbnails in there. You know. Like I'm. I'm a fan of it. It's good. But. Uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is that there are maps that are like fun and there are maps that are cool and this is a cool map not a fun map for me anyway it's uh... I've only played on it a couple of times but from what I have played on it's just um... too big for me I don't like these like giant sprawling maps like you can go way up here even like it's just, there's, there's just like a lot in it, I guess, is, is what I'm trying to say. And uh, for me, I like the, the smaller maps, generally speaking. Um, or at least ones where you don't have to kind of like be taken everywhere, I guess. I don't know. I appreciate the, the effort that went into this map, and I really, really like playing on it. It's fun, but uh, the, the map itself is like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to describe the, the, what I want to say. You know, there's, there's like Zeds popping in from anywhere, and I don't know. To, to me, there's just there's a certain something about it that just kind of takes away from the the fun of it for me. Not to a point where it's not fun anymore, but to a point where it's like not as fun as like KF Rig or something like that, where I just I feel like I have a better experience on it in general. So like like I said, I would uh, I would uh, I would. I would I'd pick Calf Rake as a map to get integrated into the game. This one, I don't know. But it's a good map. It's a really, 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 really good map. Super well designed. I just, uh, I don't know. I, I guess I don't like the whole, like, destructible stuff. And I don't like the Zeds just popping in wherever. Um, but, you know, a couple of fix, a couple of fixed issues. And in my opinion, it's like, a, it's a beautiful map. But, you know, like, I like BS Old West, and that's, like, a super not artistic map, but the the, 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 the layout of it all is, is pretty, you know, okay. And then, uh, I have this one's, like, super artistic, but the layout, I guess, is just not super great to me. I don't know. My voice is already kind of, like, going at this point. I'm not sure why. Anyway, it's quarter after 12. Like, 12.20 at this point, but, uh, you know, before stream, anyway, it's pre-stream. And uh, I am currently doing my recording. I'm going to get the... Uh, oh, okay. We're, like, dead because I'm stuck in a... I had to itch the back of my neck at the exact time that happened. So I couldn't move my mouse. And then, uh, yeah. Just kind of, like, stuck in that. Which is kind of annoying. Um, and we will continue with that. We will continue. 
KF Hotel Z. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Right here. It's nice because I am actually getting the recording done. I've got 4K F2 to record today. I'm going to hopefully get all that done before the stream. And then I just have one gunfire reborn and two Yamachek tries to get done after the stream, which is not that much. And then uh, tonight I'll be able to kind of like relax a little bit earlier. Um, I got to, you know, make all the thumbnails and all that stuff for the weekend. But, um, like, yeah, it's it's nice having uh, having this done at, the, at like a decent time, you know. Feels good. It feels good. Yeah, I just I don't like the Zeds popping in like in thin air like that when I'm just looking at it, you know? Like it just takes away from the experience for me. It takes away from the experience. You know, it breaks my immersion. That's really the major part, I think, for me. I don't know, I, I can't put my finger on it, but there's there's something off about this man. And I think it's probably that, because like the destructible stuff, all these things getting destroyed, I mean that's pretty cool, right? But, um, Zed's just appearing next to you constantly. Like, that one fell out of the sky there, you know, off the roof or whatever. That's okay. But, like, you can just be looking and then they just literally get spawned in in front of you. And it's just, I don't know, it's just, it, 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 it you know, it's, it's a meme, you know, it breaks my immersion. But, like, I think it, it does. It does break my immersion. You know? Can I go through here? No. That's okay, though. It does break my immersion, you know? And, uh, kind of takes away from it. But it's a nice map, nonetheless. I'd recommend you get it if you wanted to, to try out something a little bit, uh, different. There are a few maps that have this whole, like, destructible stuff. This one does it pretty well, I think. So, yeah, if, you, if you're not bothered by the... Immersion break and Zed spawns right in front of you. Go for it, man. It's a good map. It's a good map. This cat's back in the game. I'm really tired though. I think like I, I got up early, right? Like I got up at 11 a.m. today to, to start recording, and then like after I got all my my morning duties done, I have it's you know 12 o'clock by the time I start recording. But um, that's why it's really important for me to get up at a decent time because it takes me an hour from when I. I from when my alarm wakes me up to when I'm actually recording, that's that's an hour, right? So uh, it's really important for me to, like, if I wake up two hours before a uh, stream, then I get an hour of recording. Plus, like, I have to not even I get like 40 minutes of recording because I have to. Um, I guess well, well, we'll put it this way, okay? If I wake up an two hours before stream, I get you know by the time I get up at 12. And then uh, it's one by the time I can start recording, and I have to stop recording by about quarter to two so that I can get the stream ready and stuff. And um, so that's 45 minutes of recording, right? But the the issue here is uh, what what fits into 40 minutes of recording? Like nothing. So that's basically one episode of a series that I get to record, right? Like one. One singular episode that I get to record if I wake up two hours before um, stream. Whereas if I wake up three hours before stream, you know, I get an extra hour of recording time. So now I have an hour and 40 minutes of recording time. I get like three or four episodes done pretty easily, right? You'd think that it's like, you know, an extra 50%, but it's actually like 200% extra, 300% extra recording time just because of. Uh, you know, it's like you got your you got your 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 net, you know, wage, <laughs> I guess, and then you have uh, your gross wage, and like uh, the gross has uh, like you know, there's a cost and time of like an hour and fifteen minutes at least. So you take that out, and I wake up an hour, and then you have to like to um get the. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's just, uh, if I wake up an hour early, it gets me a lot more than just, an, you know, an hour of recording. Um, because it, it just, it enables me to do so much more that, uh, that I wouldn't be able to do if I didn't get up an hour early. And then, like, two hours, or another two hours after that is, 
like not that big of a deal but like getting up three hours before stream is, is so much more important than getting up two hours before stream two hours is a problem <laughs> two hours is, is I'm, I'm hurting for time there I have to like sacrifice lunch or something if I want to if I want to get up two hours before stream then I'm gonna be hungry on stream which is uh, no good anyway I got up at 11 today I had uh, a little bit to eat and um, I uh, started recording, but I didn't get to bed at a better time last night. You know, like uh, I just I just went to bed at the same time that I've been going to bed at, which was like 5 a.m. And um, I set an alarm to get myself up at 11, so I'm really really tired today. Um, but it's gonna be worth it after tomorrow. You know, I'm fine with sacrificing my weekdays. Making them a little bit less comfortable for the the sake of uh, a comfortable weekend, because the weekend is, is so much more important to me. But can I get through here? Probably not, right? Yeah, so we're just kind of locking ourselves into a corner here. You know? But beware of uh, of the, the mercenary who's locked in a corner, okay? Something about rats or something. I don't know. The beast. So it's, uh, it's good. It's good. Anyways, the moral of the story. I'm only going to have like uh, an hour and a half to two hours of recording to do after after the stream, which is, is really not bad. And then uh, I get to I get to, to relax. And I'm super excited about that. And then it's, uh, you know, about um, 50 some odd hours until I have to even think about YouTube again, <laughs> you know? I'm excited. I'm excited. Everything's going well this t this week, you know. I think everything is is lining up. You know, it's coming up Millhouse today. You know, I don't I don't see how I wouldn't be able to get uh, everything set up and, and have my weekend off. And uh, I'm excited because it's going to be. I mean, I said this last week, but this week it's 100%. It's my first weekend off in a long time. And uh, you know, even if you're not doing much, like when 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 I started YouTube. Um, you know, it was, it was like a half hour, 40 minutes a day or whatever, which wasn't that bad, but like, it's still an interruption, you know what I mean? It's still interrupting your day-to-day -day life, and uh, just not having that interruption is, is so relaxing and comforting, honestly. So, I'm excited, I'm looking forward to it, I'm super, super excited, and I'm not letting anything like get in my way this time, because... Uh, as, as I've talked about it, I, if it happens again, I don't know if I'll be able to make it through the next week, because uh, this week was already rough enough. We're getting towards the end of it. We made it through the rough week. <laughs> that's uh, that's all that matters to me. Um, but if I did the same thing next week, like I'd, I'd probably get overwhelmed and not be able to handle it. Um, you might notice that some of the, the quality of this episodes and stuff towards the end of the week have kind of been fallen. Uh, Monday is going to be the last day, so I'm recording everything for Monday. Except for one KF2 today. That's that like that's what my recording session is today. Basically, is Monday. Um, so like we're 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 really really set for uh, for the weekend. Like Sunday and Monday or something like that is what we got, which is nice, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, we have a Glock, so we can probably start using that, I guess. Um, which is nice, you know. It is, and. Um, Yeah. I look forward to having a weekend off. I really, really do. The only thing that could keep me is, Yama, is uh, the KF2. You know? Nothing else is going to keep me from... Uh, I, w I would make the KF2. Losing the KF2 would be so much so much more hurtful to my, my mental health. You know, missing an episode there. I actually... I, uh, I uploaded an episode late the other day. I don't count that as a missed episode. You know, it was... It did go up the next day. Like, there was three episodes one day and one episode one day. I don't count that as missed because I had it scheduled to just... <laughs> had it scheduled for the next day instead of the right day, you know? Which uh, which kind of sucked, but it is what it is. Um, oh, well. <laughs> um, I, gotta, I gotta figure out a way that I can, like, schedule myself for that kind of stuff to make it better. Um, cause it's, that's the second time it's happened now, and I really, really hate it when it happens. Really, really brings me down, honestly. So I want to make sure that I can uh, prevent that from happening as best as possible. Uh, 
Bon appetit. Bon appetit, tubby. Is he upstairs? No, he's come from. Oh, he is upstairs. Hey, bud. How'd you get up there? How'd you get up there, huh? I don't know if this guy's gonna be a really good fight on this map because I don't know my way around super well, so, uh. I mean, I tell you, it's gonna be. We're gonna lure you over here, actually. Yeah, this is this is okay. Because what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to come over here, and then through this place. Shoot, shoot. That could have been like horrible, dude. You coming? Did you really not know how to open the door? Did you have that much trouble with the door? That he, like you just went around? Really? That kind of annoys me. Let's head upstairs. We got a. A decent kite up here. A decent enough kites up here. I don't know how to kite this guy on this map. You know, on, on most maps, I've got my uh, my strategy. You know, I know my way around the map like pretty well, and um, I'm able to, to make my way through and not worry about it so much. But on this one, I'm like, I don't know where I'm backing into a corner or whatever. You back into a corner on this guy, and you're done. You don't back into a corner, and like he's done. But you know. <laughs> I got a Discord message, but I haven't got a Discord message on my phone, which is kind of weird. It's kind of weird. I had to, like, go to my Discord and check it out. Manually. I couldn't just look at the thing, you know? I couldn't just do that. figured out what it was though. It was my buddy. I'm giving away a uh, game pass code. Discord's giving them away or whatever. And uh, not, not, not to you guys. <laughs> um, to my friends. To my friends. You guys ain't my friends. You guys my peons. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm giving away um, game pass code to my friends because I don't care to pay. I don't like, if I want game pass, I don't mind paying for it. Uh, and then um, I can't even use Game Pass because I'm on, on Windows uh, 8 still. So it's like, yeah, <laughs> you know, it's, it's kind of not super, super great for that. But, um, whatever. Uh, so anyway, I've got the, the three-month Game Pass code from Discord. And uh, I'm just I'm giving it away to some friends. And a friend of mine just messaged me. and was like, hey, has anybody taken it yet? I'm like, nah, nobody's asked for it. I messaged the... The group last night asked if anybody wanted it to send me a, uh, a message with with a reason explaining why they they deserve it. And like the reason doesn't have to be real, so make sure it's like good. <laughs> I wanted to hear like sob stories and stuff, you know. I was hoping. Um, I would have given a sob story. I wouldn't have taken the game pass code, but I would have I would have given. It, I would have thought that was fun. So I uh, I did it. I don't know. You guys ever enter giveaways and then win and then just be like. I don't actually want the thing. I just wanted to compete. Cause I do that all the time. For some reason, I win a lot of giveaways, but never with the ones that I actually care about. Like I enter, um, you know, I watch Linus Tech Tips and Jay's Two Cents, and they both have giveaways on occasion. I'll enter them, you know. I uh, I'll do like the the bare minimum. Like there'll be a link to like some like giveaway page or whatever, and. Um, you go there and you're like, verify your Twitter, verify that you're subscribed, verify that you commented. I'm like, okay, some of these are like, I click the button and I get a giveaway entry. And some of these are like, go do something and then you get it. I'm like, eh, <laughs> I don't care that much. Um, but anyway, I care about those because those are like, you know, if I win that, I can sell it <laughs> for like decent money. And they're very convenient for me. Um... Hello, boys. But, uh... I never win them, you know? I never win them. Never lucky. Never lucky. Okay, we're going down. I don't really like being in this corridor area so much, to be honest with you. Um, I never win those. And, uh, I do occasionally, on, like, frequently, if I answer, like, I'm watching, like, a RuneScape stream or something like that, like, I don't take... 
I don't like taking gifts and stuff, like giveaways and stuff like that. Like, I just, I don't, I don't really care in, in games, because, like, okay, I win, like, 20 mil or whatever. Like, that's not much to me. If I play a game, I'm usually pretty good at it, <laughs> you know? I'm usually the person who has the money to be given stuff away, like, I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not in any need of, 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 of donations, typically. Um... But, uh, I'll, I'll, pl I'll play in the giveaways anyway, just because I like winning. Um, you know? And uh, I'll often win, and they'll be like, Yamma Jack, what's your, what's your in-game name? We'll come and give you the, the money. And I'm like, I don't really want to give it to somebody else. I just wanted to win. I won. I got what I wanted. I don't want the, the reward. You know, the, the winning in and of itself is the reward. You know, it's not even about getting the shout-out from the, like, announcement. It's just, uh, literally... I entered and then I won and I'm like, heck yeah, man! All right, I'm good. See you later. <laughs> don't need the don't need the reward. Cause uh, most of the time they're just I mean they're they're just not worth anything to me. It's not worth the time for me to go and claim it. I'm like I'm enjoying your stream. We're having fun here, and uh, you know I'll enter the giveaway cause that's fun. And then I win and I'm like, eh. I just you want you want me to open up runescape and then go find you and add you to my friends list so that we can like hop to the same world and stuff and I'm like nah <laughs> nah I did, it's just not worth the work for like 10 mil nah like if it was like a bill in runescape I'd be like yeah sure you know but it's uh, it's never it's never that you know it's never that it's always uh, it's always a pittance and I just I don't care about it you know I like yeah, I like the games right like I uh, if I'm playing the game I like it I don't need uh, I don't need help because I can just play the game and, and progress myself you know it's like oftentimes people will say like hey you know if you're, you're starting out the game like I'll, I'll give you all this new stuff like when you're playing monster and like you get those stupid overpowered gears and stuff like I just I don't want to use them because they're broken and it's gonna ruin my fun because it's gonna take away from the experience of, of getting that kind of stuff myself you know and uh, to me that experience of, uh, of doing it yourself is what the like what, what makes it so much fun personally so when I when I went into giveaway or something they're like yeah we'll give you the stuff I'm like I just don't want it. <laughs> it it's literally not helping me you, 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 taking it is just gonna make me have less fun, cause. Uh, but if it's like a bill or something, you know, I'm, at that point I'm like, yeah, sure. <laughs> you know, like, at the very least, I can, uh, I can buy some fun stuff and, and have a uh, have some fun with it, you know. When, when it's like a small amount that it's like, yeah, you can go and like buy a bond or something, get a month of membership or whatever. I'm like, I just. I could I could do that myself, <laughs> you know. Like it's just it doesn't matter to me. So anyway, I win them and then I, I don't accept it because I just don't care. You guys ever do that? You guys ever win giveaways and then just not accept the the prize? Is that just a me thing? Because it happens like a lot. <laughs> I don't know why. I get so lucky on on giveaways that I don't care about. You know. Never the ones that I do care about. Like I'll take you know in real life you got a prize. That's what's worth something like you know, like a fifteen hundred dollar prize. I'm like, pfft, I could go make that myself. Alternatively, I could go make that myself and also take this and then have two of them. <laughs> you know, and uh, yeah. So I always enter those giveaways and I want to win them and I want to actually get the prize and I'm not disappointed when I lose because that's expected. Um, but it's like a, you know if there's like monetary value in it, I'm like I'm in. You know. I'm in. If it's like some in-game thing, I just I don't care. If it's like you win three months of Game Pass. I'm like I just I don't care. I don't care. Anyway, I hosted the giveaway, and uh, for me, I would have found it like fun to put together a sob story and like try and, and win the Game Pass code or whatever. And then like I wouldn't have accepted the Game Pass code if I got it because I don't care. But I would I would have had fun. It's like uh, participating, you know. I would uh, the participation prize is all I want. <laughs> the participation itself is uh, is the prize for me, rather. So I was hoping that uh, that more people would take part in it and uh, send me their fake stop stories, and you know, have a little bit of a creative uh, 
experiment thing there and it didn't work. It didn't work. I was greatly disappointed. I put my uh, put my phone on silent when I went to sleep last night because I was expecting to have a... Uh, I, I was like, yeah, I'm going to bed. Send me your sob stories and I'll... Uh, whoever has the worst sob story, I'll, uh, I'll message you. And if you're all the same, then first comes first serve. <laughs> so, um... I, uh, yeah. Woke up. No messages. I'm like, wow, that's like unusual AF because normally I have messages. And then I also did this giveaway and I get zero messages. Like, it's even less than normal. Somehow this, somehow this has taken away my old messages. Somehow I'm getting less messages now. What the heck? What have I, what have I done wrong? How can I appease you, Lord? Lord of messages. But, uh, anyway, one of my friends is just messing with the sob story. I see the, I see the sob story off of my, uh, off of my phone here. Let's take a look. Is it something that I can read on camera? No. He didn't make up a sob story. He gave me a real one. <laughs> he gave me his real reason why he wants it. I'm like, I don't want the real reasons. I want you to make something up. I want you to have fun with it, you know? Tell me about how your mother recently came into a coma and all she wants to do in her coma is, is play video games and this Xbox Game Pass is really going to help her with her recovery from the coma. You know, tell me about your 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 brother who's... Um, aspiring to be a QA tester and, and really wants... Oh my god, you can just spawn right in front of me, eh? Yeah, should have expected that, I suppose. Is this a barrier? It is a barrier! Um, you know, tell me about my brother who's aspiring to be a QA tester for uh, for video game companies and you know, being able to have access to all these games and, and practice his skills is really going to help him out. Um, you know? But no, it's just... Yeah, I've got some... i got a friend who could use it. And it's like, you know what? You're the only person who's messaged me so you're going to get it, but it's not a good sob story. <laughs> this wasn't this wasn't what I wanted, okay? Why did I jump into that? Like I literally jumped to make sure that I got hit by it. Like it doesn't get worse than that, you know? Nope. Uh, you have to immediately get dusted. You can still you can still fire that, bro. You're in your yellow phase. You don't you don't get to do that. Hold up, no, dude. <laughs> I didn't think you could fire in the yellow phase. I would have hit it if I knew. Her cannon was broken. She fired the thing out of her dang claw, dude. <laughs> like, it just... What the heck? <laughs> anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.